The recent 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria has caused widespread devastation, with the death toll now reaching nearly 25,000 and thousands of people left homeless and in need of assistance. The earthquake has caused the collapse of over 11,000 buildings and structures, making rescue efforts difficult due to the harsh sub-zero temperatures in the affected areas. Many countries have extended their support to Turkey and Syria in this hour of need and so has India under Operation Dost. In response to the disaster, the Indian government has taken action to provide aid to those affected by the earthquake. With the support of the Indian Army, India has launched Operation Dost, a program aimed at providing aid and support to countries affected by earthquakes. The name of the operation, Operation Dost, holds significant meaning as it is a common word in Turkish and Hindi, with the Turkish proverb meaning a friend in need is a friend indeed. This sentiment of friendship and support was expressed by Turkish ambassador Firat Sinel in a tweet thanking India for their support. The first C-17 transport aircraft carrying a group of search and rescue personnel, dog squads, drilling machines, relief material and medicines arrived in Adana in Turkey on the morning after the earthquake. A second Indian Air Force plane with similar consignments was sent to Turkey around noon. A 99-member team from an army field hospital in Agra has also been dispatched to set up a 30-bed field hospital. India sent an army medical team, National Disaster Relief Force personnel and medical supplies to Turkey. It dispatched an army field hospital, which is a mobile medical unit along with 99 soldiers and equipment, including oxygen-generating plants to Turkey's capital, Ankara. 100 members of the National Disaster Relief Force and excavation equipment besides food and medical supplies were sent in by the IAF. India also delivered six tons of emergency relief assistance including portable ECG machines, patient monitors and other essential medical items to quake hit Syria. India has a long history of providing disaster relief to countries across the world, reflecting the country's commitment to global humanitarianism. The Indian government and its various agencies, including the Indian Armed Forces, work together to provide rapid and effective assistance in the aftermath of natural disasters, such as earthquakes, hurricanes and tsunamis. At current times, India is leading the initiatives in disaster management and disaster resistance in the subcontinent. Sending immediate aid and relief support to the affected countries is an affirmative step in this direction. These relief support measures and humanitarian assistance are indicative of the legacy that India has established in the last 15 years, carrying out several disaster relief operations and emerging as a leading actor on the world stage during such emergencies, especially in its neighborhood. It has now uniquely positioned itself as the first responder. Interestingly, more than two-thirds of India's humanitarian assistance has been directed to South Asia. The South Asia region is seen to be particularly vulnerable to natural calamities. Since 1970, the number of disasters in the region has increased five-fold with estimated direct losses amounting to $80 billion. Beyond earthquakes, a new range of emergencies are also plaguing the South Asian region. Such calamities include pandemics, chemical and biological accidents, industrial failures and terrorist attacks. Due to this, the conception of humanitarian crisis has pushed the boundaries, both geographically and technically. India has been known often to hold on its old policy of coming forward for humanity and pursuing its policy of Vasudeva Kutumbakam, irrespective of the unpredictable geopolitical situations. Some instances in the recent times include during the devastating Nepal earthquake in 2015, India extended a helping hand to the neighborhood in distress, charting a new course in disaster diplomacy. Prime Minister Narendra Modi proved India's credential as a leader in the Indian subcontinent. India launched Operation Maitri, under which tons of relief material and NDRF teams with equipment were dispatched to the neighboring nation. 
Based on India's prompt response, a top UN official acknowledged the country's role as a first responder. In Yemen, India had exported more than 250,000 tons of wheat between April to June and emerged as a key supply line for Yemen in the wake of the Ukraine war. In a well-coordinated Operation Rahat involving multi-agencies, Army, Navy and Indian Air Force deployed C-17 Globemaster III aircraft in 12 shuttles. More than 5,600 people were evacuated from war-ravaged Yemen in 2015, of which 4,000 plus were Indians. Japan, the 2011 tsunami wreaked havoc in Japan. Apart from providing relief materials, India also sent 46 members of the NDRF to search and rescue in the town of Onagawa. It was their first overseas operation. The team included a doctor, three officers, six inspectors, two paramedics and constables and carried 9,000 kilograms of equipment and food. Maldives. After the 2004 tsunami, a package worth 5 crore rupees was announced under Operation Castor. 50 sorties were undertaken and four aircraft and two naval ships were engaged in relief operations, repairing and restoring generators and communication, providing drinking water and setting up medical camps on ships was also done. In 2018, India extended its support to the Maldives during a water crisis caused by a breakdown in the country's main water treatment plant. India sent fresh water supplies, a team of engineers and water treatment plants to help resolve the crisis. COVID vaccine support to nations India took an exclusive initiative, Vaccine Maitri, to supply COVID-19 made in India vaccines to various countries across the world. India offered support to more than 150 affected countries in the form of COVID vaccines, medical equipment and medicines during the pandemic. India has supplied more than 282 million vaccine doses of vaccines by December 2022 to 101 countries and two UN entities. India has also extended its disaster relief operations globally by providing assistance to countries affected by natural disasters and humanitarian crisis. Here are some examples of India's global disaster relief efforts. Haiti earthquake. India sent a medical team and provided financial assistance to Haiti after the devastating earthquake in 2010. Typhoon Haiyan in Philippines in 2013. India sent a warship with medical supplies and personnel to assist with relief efforts in the Philippines. Hurricane Irma in Caribbean in 2017. India extended its support to the Caribbean countries affected by Hurricane Irma by providing financial aid and supplies. India's efforts are a testament to the humanity and compassion that exists in the world, even in the face of tragedy and hardship. India's disaster relief operations across the world are an example of the country's commitment to global humanitarianism and its willingness to assist other nations in times of need. India's efforts have been widely appreciated by the international community and have helped to further enhance its reputation as a responsible and caring member of the global community. So that was all in this episode of NIJ Explained. Do let us know in the comments if you found this video insightful. Until next time, this is Richa Divedi signing off. Dhanivad and Namaste.